concentrate here in the basal ganglia is on two circuits, the direct pathway and the indirect pathway, that go through the basal ganglia. And for both of these pathways, the input, the major input structure of the basal ganglia, which the basal ganglia being outlined here in blue, the major input structure, the structure that receives the input, is the striatum, the caudate and the putamen. And the major output from the uh, basal ganglia comes from the internal globus pallidus and the substantia nigra uh, pars reticulata. So these are just across the cerebral peduncle from each other. They were at one point together and then throughout in development, that cerebral peduncle, the uh, continuation of the internal capsule developed and split those two regions. There are two basic areas that can give rise to, that they can talk to the basal ganglia. One is areas in the cerebral cortex, and that's what we'll focus on. That is where the bulk of the um, focus in the basal ganglia has been on. And, and, and when we talk about the skeletal motor loop, which is the loop that we will um, spend most of our time on, that comes from the cerebral cortex, from primary motor cortex. It also comes from air, other areas, such as frontal eye fields. And, and so the input from the cerebral cortex goes directly into the striatum. And the striatum has uh, cells that are, are called medium spiny neurons. These are maybe, you know, these are, these are famous neurons, not quite as famous per, as Purkinje cells, but maybe next to them. And these medium spiny neurons inhibit, they're, they're GABAergic, they contain GABA, and they uh, inhibit the, the cells in the output nucleus. So, um, and the, the cells in the output nucleus inhibit the thalamus. So this is a, a basic disinhib disinhibitory uh, circuit, which we will examine in, in great detail. But for the point I want to make right now is slightly different. So information from the cerebral cortex comes directly into the striatum. That gets uh, sent off to the globus pallidus internal and the substantia nigra pars reticulata, and which project then back to thalamus, which then goes back to cerebral cortex. The pathway by which subcortical uh, sites, such as the superior colliculus, uh, influence the striatum is that the, the input comes via the thalamus and the output is direct. So it's just reversed. Now, the major point I want to make here is that if you have a head-to-head, -head, let's say the frontal eye fields is telling the striatum one thing and the superior colliculus is telling the, the striatum a different thing. Head-to-head, -head, who's going to win that war? Whose action is, which action is going to be supported? The one supported by frontal eye fields or the one supported by the superior colliculus? Well, in a head-to-head -head competition, this is going to win. The subcortical input is going to win. And uh, one of the major reasons that, that that is true is that the input here come, that arises originally from the subcortical input, uh, this input, the red input, ends very proximally on the cell. So if it's, it's, it's going to end here, whereas the uh, cortical input ends on the dendrites. So this has a, big, this has a bigger effect than this does. In a head-to-head -head comp competition, are you going to pay attention to a lecturer or watch a streaker go flashing by? Well, you're going to watch the streaker. You might be a very good student. You might be a very conscientious student. You're still going to watch the streaker. You're going to watch a bird fly by. You're going to watch a superior colliculus supported movement. You're going to move your eyes in a superior colliculus supported movement before you're going to stay uh, consciously, deliberately gaze, uh, uh, focused or fixated on, on a lecture. OK, so in a head to head, subcortical is going to beat out cortical. The second point that I want to make about this, and, and we can go over this, this is just the same information in a different way. So um, you, can, you can use whichever version of this uh, works for you. Um, the, same, the, the, the other uh, 
point to make is that most of our motor output is coming not from primary motor cortex from a Simon Says point, uh, place, from a very deliberate volitional place, but it's coming from our basal ganglia. So, so much, everything gets, gets sent through the basal ganglia. And the basal, gang, basal ganglia dominated movements is, are, are the bulk of what we do day in and day out. In the, in the next uh, video, we're going to start in on the skeletal motor loop.